Here's our problem for today. We've got this semicircle. And within the semicircle, we have a smaller circle. Now, between the semicircle and this brown circle, there is a shaded area. We must find the area of the shaded region, which is shown in yellow. The only piece of information we're given is that the length of this semicircle is 20. So this right here is 20. So how do we figure out the shaded area? To do so, here's the first step. Because the semicircle has a diameter of 20, we know its radius will be 10 since half of 20 is 10. So this radius right here in orange will be 10. Now we know the radius of the semicircle. So if we take the area of the semicircle and subtract from it the area of our brown circle, we will be left with the shaded region. And so this will be equal to the area of the shaded region which is going to be drawn in yellow. And that is of course the region we want to find the area of. So, what is the area of this little slice? Well, it's going to be pi r squared over two since we have a semicircle, not a full circle. So this right here will be pi r squared over two. Great. Because this is pi r squared over 2, and we know what r is, r is 10, we can find out the area. So this slice, this semicircle slice, will have an area of pi times 10 squared divided by 2, which is going to be what? 100 pi divided by 2 is 50 pi. So this semicircle has a contribution of 50 pi. What about this circle in brown? This circle in brown also has an area. It's going to have a radius right over here, and it also has a diameter. The diameter of this smaller circle is going to equal the radius of the bigger circle. So this right here is going to be 10. And so if that's 10, we know what the radius is going to be. This radius right here, that's gonna be five. So if this radius right here is five, we know the area of that. The area of this is just going to be pi r squared. So pi times 5 squared, which is just 25 pi, 25 pi. So this is 50 pi, this is 25 pi. If we subtract them, 50 pi minus 25 pi is going to give us the contribution from the yellow region, which will be 25 pi. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer to our question, 25 pi. Thanks for watching. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. Me. We believe anyone can learn can anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. Math and science.